चलिए दोस्तों शुरू करते हैं विदाउट वेस्टिंग ए टाइम इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी सीन डेट हाउ टू कॉन्फ़िगर बीजीपी आरआर विद द डिफरेंट क्लस्टर आईडी इन डेट लैब कॉन्फ़िगरेशन डूइंग द चेक फॉर द राउट फॉर द कस्टम परफिक्स वी हैव फाउंड डेट ऑन द आरआर वन एंड आरआर टू वी वर गेटिंग द टू कॉपी ऑफ द राउट लाइक हियर यू कैन सी डेट आई गेट द आउटपुट फ्रॉम द राउट रिफ्लेक्टर 1 फॉर दिस कस्टमर परफिक्स शो बीजीपी 100.100 यू कैन सी दैट ऑन द आरआर वी आर गेटिंग ए टू कॉपी ऑफ द राउट वन फ्रॉम दिस सीएसएस 3 व्हिच इज द ओरिजिनेटर and second path is coming from the back to back link from back to back bgp peering from the route reflector 2 so with the help of this uh, bgp are have a different cluster id so as you, as we have seen that we have we are getting the two copy this means that more routes so we will get the more routes so we we will need the more processing power and for the more processing power to hire the propagation delay ultimately when we need to say that if we are will get the more routes so it require a more memory correct more resources required to process those routes and ultimately after that it have to propagate those route to the uh, their clients so in that case also this uh, that propagation delay will also be increased okay one argument we can consider that if we don't configure the back to back peering between the route selector 1 and route selector 2 then there will be only one copy of one copy of the route on the rr So means in the few cases of the failure like if css both link went down let's suppose css1 both link went down then the only impact will be uh, for the ds uh, router only as this router will lose the connectivity with this uh, customer network okay if css2 both link went down in this case also we will see this css only will lose the connectivity with this customer prefix okay if css3 one link went down okay let's suppose we don't configure the back to back peering we shut down this bgp neighbor ship between the route selector 1 and route selector 2 which we have configured okay and we use the bgp uh, pair rr with the different cluster id if css3 link went down with the let's suppose this css3 link went down with the route selector 1 first okay and then css1 and css2 link went down with rr2 so css1 let's take the example of css1 css1 have an a one link down with the route selector 2 in that case so this css will be uh, isolated so we have to think about this different failure scenario when we have to consider rr with the same rr uh, cluster id bgp pair rr with the same cluster id or with the different cluster id so uh, so these cases we understood correct if both link went down this css will isolate and if css2 both link down this css will isolate and major impact if css3 when isolated so ultimately this whole topology will lose the connectivity from this uh, with this customer network so uh, we will test the last scenario let's test this uh, first we will do we will disable the back to back bgp peering between the route selector 1 and route selector 2 and after that we will disable the css3 bgp with the route selector 1 and then we'll disable the bgp peering of css1 with the rr2 i will show how the css will go the isolated Let's jump to the configuration. So here we are on the route reflector one. Let's disable the back to back peering. So we have an BGP peering with the all three CSS, CSS one, CSS two, CSS three, and then this is the back to back route reflector peering with the route reflector two. Let me quickly show you the current config also. ISS IGP protocol we are using to get the reachability between the low packs. Or here, this is our ISS configuration, and here you can see this is our BGP configuration. Where I have configured the BGP with all three CSS, and this is the back-to-back -back peering with the route selector two. Let's shut down the BGP for the back-to-back -back with the route selector two. Here we go to the BGP context. Neighbor, this is the IP of route selector two. Let me put that done. But before that, let me show you the show route hundred dot hundred dot hundred dot hundred. Show BGP hundred dot hundred dot hundred dot hundred. So we have an a two copy two copy of the route. So the for customer prefix in the BGP table and best route in the routing table. So once we shut down this peering, we will get the one copy of the route only in the BGP table also. So we are again checking BGP table here, and now there should be the only one copy of the route. Now here you can see that correct. After shutting the back-to-back -back peering, 
with the route connector we have an only direct one copy of the route which is coming from the css3 which is ultimately originator of the prefix and earlier there were the two copies so let's jump to the now css3 so here we are on the css3 which is the originator router and here we have to disable the pgp pairing with route connector 1 so here you can see that we have a two bgp this is the route connector 1 pairing this is the route connector 2 pairing and this is the ebgp with the customer network with the ce device so here also we have in a similar kind of configuration this is the iss configuration or to get the reachability between the loopbacks and this is the bgp configuration okay two pairing with the route selectors out of the one two and this is the ebgp so let's shut down the bgp pairing with the route selector one as per our case scenario neighbor so this is the route selector one ip and this is the you have to go to the neighbor contact then you have to shut down so here we are on the css1 so let me increase the font size first okay i have done the font size increased okay so now the css3 have an originator router have an bgp bring it down the router sector 2 but the first check how many routes of the customer prefix in the bgp table we have so we have an only single copy so once we disable the bgp peering so there will be the outage as we are getting the only one copy of the route which is from the rr2 if we disable this so there will be the outage only correct so here i can also give the configuration of iss which we have control of the route for the reachability of the loop back and here we have an bgp configuration which is with the router to one and router to two so if we shut down so there will be outage as we have already seen we still this for the so this is the ip of route connector 2 let me shut down so this size so this css will be isolated there is no route correct no route in the bg table ultimately there will be no route in the, in the routing thank you so we have tested the failure scenarios